y'all, Shafni Nicole here, and in today's video, I will be giving you a walkthrough of the new digital teacher planners. I'm so excited. I have a lot of new add-ons for this planner, so I'm super excited to show you guys those. So this is, the, of course, the cover of the planner. To open it, you can either swipe left or you can use the spiral ring to open it. Now this planner it will be called the Dynamic Teacher Planner. Um, if you tap on this, it will take you to our website. You will see that you have your tabs, your monthly tabs at the top, July through June, and it will also come in January through December. Down here, you have your Smart Goals Vision Board Gradebook Overview, and you have your dashboard, extra pages, stickers, and your home tab that takes you back to the cover. The rings, the spiral rings in the middle will take you to your dashboard. So you have two ways to get you to your dashboard. You can get to your dashboard using the rings or you can use the tab below. Here you have your question mark, which of course takes you to a video that explains how to add these templates here and how to use inserts. And we'll get into the teacher inserts later on in the video. You'll have 40 custom sections. You will also notice down here that I did add some more templates on. So I've added the three column graph, the two different Cornells. This time you have the college Cornell and you have the wide Cornell. Actually, I'll let you look at all the templates. So here's your graph template first. This is the three column. This is the dotted. You have your college rule regular, college rule uh, Cornell, wide, wide rule Cornell, and your blank. So now let's look at these tabs down here and then we'll get into these over here. All right, so we're gonna start off with the SMART goals. So it basically gives you a breakdown of what each acronym means and how to go about filling it out. And then on this side, you have your challenges and did you meet your goal? And then you have this space right here where you can do some notes or some type of brain dump. It's up to you. And then we have the vision board here. And then you have your grade book. Now the grade book does have a change made to it. So normally it's um, the name here and then all from here to here, it was like where your grades would go. But this time what I did was um, I put the name here as well. Because the overview, um, I'm pretty sure on the overview of the last planner, these were not hyperlinked, but now they are hyperlinked. So this is our monthly sections. This We're gonna start off with our monthly calendar. I'm actually gonna show you one that's blank first. This is how it looks. I'm absolutely in love with the color scheme. I love the color scheme of this planner. You will see that you have your to-do list here. This has gone from Monday to Sunday. There is also a Sunday to Saturday start. So we have a Monday start and then we have a Sunday start. You have your to-do list here. You have your standards and concepts. This was very small at first, so I decided to make it bigger. Um, you have your birthdays and holidays and events. Now I'm gonna show you one that has some things added to it. So here's how one looks set up. Keep in mind that our planners are undated for teachers because we want you to be able to use them again and again and again and again. You will have videos to show you, of course, how to number your calendars. And also, numbering the calendar is very simple. I also give you videos, helpful videos, on how to number your calendar, especially if you're using GoodNotes. Um, you number it one time circle around them and add them to your elements. Here is the new update for these planners. I've been asked about this a lot and honestly, let me be honest with you, it took me a while to figure it out. Now we have a Apple Calendar integration um, in the teacher planner, this teacher planner, the other ones don't have it, but this one has it. So right here you will see add link. If you tap on this link and then you tap yes, you're going to now be able to add an event to your Apple Calendar. You can add an event to Google Calendar or you can set a reminder. Now, keep in mind for the Google Calendar, um, it's gonna pop up basically as a full screen. If you are going to use Google Calendar, what I suggest is bringing it up like this, like a sidebar, um, like a side screen. So when you do, 
want to add to Google Calendar. If you're using Google Calendar, it'll just pop up like this for you. So that is the new feature of the planners is the Apple integration. I'm super excited about that. We also provide the planner without the Apple integrations. Please keep in mind that in order if you use the um, planner with the Apple integration, you're going to notice on the download PDF, you're going to need to install the integration shortcut that we provide. And I also provide video instructions for that just in case. And if you are someone who does not use GoodNotes and you're using another um, note taking app like Notability, Kilo Notes, um, NoteChef, NoteChef. Um, noteful it will work in those as well I've already tried it and it works um, you just have to make sure once you do the installation you choose which app and again the video instructions will walk you through how to do that you can access your weeklies by tapping the bottom of each of each box in the first column your dailies can be accessed by tapping the top of each box so let me show you a weekly this is the weekly setup I love it the boxes are big you will see that it has that graph in there um, you have your checklist don't forget next week you you have here where you could place your widgets up at the top you have your calendar link it takes you back to your calendar I want the navigation to be seamless for you so there's hyperlinks throughout the planner um, this takes you to your lesson plans this takes you to your uh, weekly reflection and this takes you again you have your ad link here so it'll be on your monthly page your weekly page and your daily pages your days of the week and the boxes are also hyperlinked to your dailies so I'm gonna just tap Monday and take you to that daily page so you have your schedule from 5 a.m. to 12 a.m. today I will practice you have your today's priorities you'll notice that you have the, these little check boxes here and that's also on your weekly and your monthly you have um, to-do list for tomorrow and then you have this little note section here and you have this section right here where you can do like some widgets or you can just have like a, like a little extra brain dump or whatever you want to put there. You will notice that you have another icon here. This takes you to your weekly page. Okay, so now let's take a look at our lesson plans template. Okay, so this is your lesson plan template. So the days of the weeks will run on the side here. Your subjects are at the top. So this is what your lesson plan template looks like. This is your weekly reflection. The ad links are not on the um, lesson plans nor the reflection. All right, so that is basically how each monthly is set up. Now let's have a look at the portrait planner. So here is the dynamic teacher planner portrait style. This is our front cover. And again, if we want to open the planner, we can either swipe or we can use our side here. Okay, so let's go ahead and unpack this planner. So the tabs, your monthly tabs are gonna run on the side from July to June. And again, we also provide January to December. Up here, you have your smart goals, your vision board, your grade book, and your overview. This will be your yearly overview. Down here, you have your home, which takes you back to your cover. You have your templates, your stickers, and your dashboard. So let's start by going to the dashboard first. Now this one is my personal planner. I have not, I've started setting it up a little bit, but I haven't gotten to um, delve deep into it. Um, so there's still time for me to do a video on this. If you want to see one, just let me know in the comments. Okay, so let's look at our dashboard here. We have 33 customizable sections, which is great because it gives you so many ways to customize this. Um, you can do it by per student. It's up to you how you want to set up this dashboard. Up at the top, you'll always get a question mark in my planners um, that shows you basically how to copy over a template. And if you want to use inserts, it'll show you how to do that. Down here, you have your template options. 
there used to be six and I'm gonna show you the ones that have been added I've added in three graph column the Cornell it used to be just Cornell but I've broken it up now into college Cornell and wide Cornell let's just look at the templates real quick so this is your regular graph template or box template this is your three graph this is your dotted your regular college your college Cornell your wide your wide Cornell and your blank and let's look at our smart goals and this time I decided to put like the smart acronym here which um, basically tells you what they are and of course here as well but they give you questions or indicators to help you fill this out and then your challenges and did you meet your goal okay and then here's your vision board and I just swipe because they're in order your vision board is actually um, blank but I started putting stuff in on mine so that's why you see this this is your grade book you get sections for 32 students and then you have your overview we're now going to get into the monthly sections of the planner I'm gonna show you first the calendar without anything on it and then we'll backtrack and then I'll show you them filled out All right so here's the monthly calendar it is undated all my teacher planners are undated I want teachers to be able to use the planner over and over again numbering it is very very easy and I do give you videos on how to number your your planner and it takes no more than like five minutes when you first do it 10 minutes at most if you're a first time user if you follow the video but afterwards after that it will take you less than five minutes to number your calendar because i give you tips on pro tips on what to do once you finish numbering here on the first column of boxes at the bottom will take you to your your weekly page the top of each box will take you to your daily page you have your checklist here your standards concepts holidays events birthdays this section here you can put stickers you can put a wit some widgets if you want to or you can just use it for like a little brain dump it's quite up to you how you want to do that here is what's very new to the planners this year and I'm super excited about it we I have the Apple integration in these planners now and it's only in the dynamic planner um, they have not been added to the old planners just a dynamic one for now so once you tap on this you'll need to install the shortcut of course before it works um, but once you tap on the link and you tap yes you're going to get um, this and it's going to ask you what would you like to do you can add an Apple calendar event you can add an event to Google Calendar or you can set a reminder if you don't want to use the Apple integration you don't have to I did provide the regular planners without the ad link as well if you do use Google Calendar pro tips for you to do is have it in a sidebar like this instead of it not being on there just put it in a sidebar so once you do want to um, add to your Google Calendar Google Calendar only it'll pop up on the side right here instead instead of taking you away from your planner and making this big full screen now let's take a look at the weekly page so this is the weekly spread this time I've done the big boxes which is super cute I love it love 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 it and I'm gonna show you my weekly um, set up in a moment but you have your Monday through Sunday start you also get a Sunday start you have a Monday start and you have a Sunday start you have your checklist here and then you have a little section here the days of the week on this are hyperlinked so if you tap on Monday it takes you to the Monday daily template and you have today I will practice today's priorities to do list for tomorrow you have a daily schedule from 5 a.m. to 12 a.m. And then on this side, you have this space. And then you have your lesson plans template here. Um, your subjects are going across. And then your days of the week are going down. And by the way, with your Apple integration, if you're going to use the, um, that planner, you will need to make sure that on once you get to your download PDF, if you're going to use the Apple integration, 
you need to make sure that you do you install the shortcut otherwise it will not work and I do provide video instructions on how to do that so and the last thing we need to do is look at our weekly reflection so here's a weekly reflection what went well what didn't go well what skills did students master what skills need to be retaught students who need more help with skills and then things to do different in lessons and that is basically how each monthly is set up so one of the add-ons was the apple integration here are your other add-ons you're going to get planner covers which it comes with 13 covers but 12 of them of course are on our sticker section and if you are using an app other than goodnotes you will get them in png files and i do have a video on how to change the covers uh let me make sure yeah, change planner cover. There is a video there that will show you how to do that. You get four sets of calendar numbers. And here are your teacher stickers. You get two sheets of those. You have your functional stickers here. And then you have your widgets here. We're just gonna do black and white widgets this time. I added some new ones here. We have activity signups. So if you want to do like class parties or if you're doing like some type of event and you are, are um, assigning people or whatever, you can use that. This is also good. You can use this for field, field trips as well. Um, classroom expenses. You'll notice on the contact tracker, I've added class dojo because some schools do use class dojo or and some teachers use class dojo on their own for contacting parents. You have one that is formative assessment. You can put your kids' names there, the skill there, and you can just basically check off which one has it. Um, I would probably use this in one of the daily pages myself um, if I was doing that. Seating charts. I added two new seating chart, um, seating chart widgets. So this was the old one, but I did add in this one. You have this one here where you put your group here and then the student's name here. And then you have this one right here as well where you would put like the group in the gray area and then the names of each kiddo in there. And I think that is it for, yep, yeah, those are all the new widgets that have been added. And then you have your cute emojis to go with your mood trackers here. Right now, let's look at the inserts. Now um, you have attendance, birthday tracker. I'm just gonna call out a couple. There are 79 of these. There used to be only 69, so 10 were added in. Curriculum mapping is a new one. Um, unit, key takeaways. So curriculum mapping is a new one. Formative assessment. Here's one with the emoji faces, and then you have one with the guided, almost there, reteach. Like the widget, but insert form in case you want it to be bigger there's the my teacher toolbox my favorite resources one you have one for parent meetings you have one for pre-k centers school contacts you have oh i think these wait no those are, yeah right here your small group ones um i use this before i put this in here i actually use this one um last year with the kids and i love this one Especially when you're grouping them you so I gave you like I think three different ones so it's this one this one and this one those are new you have a split class here this is one and then extension students and these are the kids that need extensions so this could be like your very very high kids or your gifted kids i use this one specifically for math um let's see what else you have your standards unpacking so your standard skills concepts um this is actually new as well and then you have one for unit planning so those are all new now the font right here and on the tabs that i use inside of the planner I'm going to link that in the description box below because this actually is one that I did pay for. I don't know the price off the top of my head, but I know it wasn't a lot. The links for the planners will be also in the description box. Okay, so that is it. I'm super excited for you guys to try this planner. I think it's going to be very beneficial, especially with now the Apple integration in it. If you guys have any questions or ideas on inserts, please let me know. I do take those into consideration and anything that can help all teachers, I'm so down for. So let me know either on Etsy or the website. 
I, I see those faster. So thank you guys again. I'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.